Hi, um, I just finished a session and quite interesting conversations that I had. And one of the one of the issues that we talked about is anger and the place of anger in a relationship. But well, let me quickly, um, for people who say, oh, he's angry, he has outbursts of um, anger, but he doesn't, it's not physical, it's just verbal. And he's just, he's verbal, he's, he, 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 he shouts in anger and when he, talks he's angry and the whole place just vibrates and you really can't get through to him the kids are, are scared of him they run into their rooms because they are quite terrified by the that by the feats of anger but he doesn't really he's, he's not physical he's just verbal and he can become insultive so what i want to tell you is i want to quote a scripture um, that says the bible says make no friendship with a man given to anger nor go with a rough full man a man of wrath stirs up strife and one given to anger causes much transgression you want me to read that to you again i'll read it again make no friendship with a man with a man given to anger nor go with a rough full man a man of wrath stirs up strife. He makes one unhappy. That's what the Bible is saying. And one given to anger causes much transgression. So, someone with an angry spirit is just a matter of time before they're going to evolve from verbal to physical. And whatever is done in the feet of anger could be dangerous so you could be exposing yourself to a very dangerous situation and that's to tell those of you yeah because sometimes we say oh he he, he it, it, it doesn't matter um he doesn't he doesn't uh, he'll change we'll pray about it he said but you see behavioral patterns can only be dealt with when the person acknowledges and, and that scripture i read to you was from proverbs 22 24 for those of you who may want to do for the study on that proverbs 22 24 and people with such intense bad behavior they can only change if they acknowledge their behavior and they seek out help everything is not about prayer but even if you want to pray about it you have to even acknowledge that it is a problem it is not a man thing to be angry no it's emotional it's an emotional deficit is from someone who doesn't know how to manage the emotions that are welling up on the inside of them. Anger is not a good spirit. Anger is not a good spirit. It shows that that person is out of control. And Bible says that a man that does not have control is like a city without walls. And we all know what happens to a city without walls. The enemy can come in. So it's just a matter of time before it goes from the verbal to the physical and the physical attack or assault in that state of anger can be life-threatening. So be careful what you're toying with. This person needs help. They need help. And if you don't get that help and you feel like you're the savior or the healer or the fixer, which a lot of empaths find themselves doing, you are walking into a landmine and it's only a matter of time before boom before it explodes a man of anger stays up strife be very careful Bible says do not make friends and unfortunately some of us are marrying them are going to bed with them that's dangerous be careful be wise be safe. God bless you.